What's up guys, Lewis Howes here, and today I'm doing my first reaction video to a video I did with Darman. And if you don't know who Darman is, make sure to go check out his channel and subscribe right now. Millions of subscribers, billions of views, and he has these amazing videos where he tells stories of people's life and also just a lot of positive inspiration. So we actually did a whole script and a film around part of my life that I had some challenges with. So I haven't seen this yet. This is my first time seeing it and I'm gonna watch it now and react to it. So here we go. Jeremy, great job. Lewis, that's the second test you failed this month. What's going on? Um, sorry, Miss Wilson, I... Um... It's because he's dumb. <laughs> Sean. That's not very nice. Well, if you want to graduate, you can't fail any more exams. You understand me? Class, please open your books to lesson three. Who wants to read? How about Lewis? Well, why don't you read for us? Um, can someone else read instead? I didn't call anyone else. This is a situation that was true that would happen a lot. I'd get called on a class and I'd always try to hide behind my books or anything because I never wanted to read because I had a second grade reading level in eighth grade and it was always very challenging. So this is a real part of my story. I called on you. Is there a problem? Yeah, everyone knows that the pea brain can't read. <laughs> Sean, stop it. Lewis, go ahead. Um, okay. Lesson three. Sit. 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 Synthesize. Synthesize the con. Con. Lewis, this is not a difficult word. Sound it out. Con. Ugh, it's content, smart guy. Sean. What? Come on, Ms. Wilson. He's in the eighth grade and he can't even read? Why can't you pick on someone who's not so duh? Duh, dumb. <laughs> Sean, cut it out. Lewis, I'm worried about you. You're not at the reading level you need to be. I just mix up my words sometimes. I'm afraid you don't belong in this class. Come with me. Have fun in special ed, dummy. <laughs> Here you are, Lewis. Your new class. Lewis? Hi, I'm Mrs. Green, your new teacher. Mm, nice book. You like Tony Robbins? Yeah. My dream is to become a writer and speaker one day. I want to be great, just like him. Well, well, well. If it isn't L -L -L Lewis and his special ed for, for, for friends, all you'll ever grow up to be is a janitor. Hey, you get out of here right now, or I'm going to send you to the principal's office. This was a, a part of the story as well, where I was in special needs classes for many, many years in small groups classes, but also one on one with tutors throughout college. So this is just a part of the, the story where kids would just make fun of you and bully all the kids in these kind of special ed classes, especially where I was from. So this is a, a true story as well. Hey, don't listen to him, okay? No, he's right. I'm just dumb. I'll never be smart enough to be great like Tony. I probably won't even graduate. Let me ask you something. What do you think Mr. Robbins would say to that? I... I don't know. Well, I know exactly what he would say. Because... he wrote it on a picture for me. When I met him. It says, Whatever you believe, you can achieve. Signed, Tony. He really signed that? Yeah. He did. You know what? Here. Keep it. And if you ever lose belief in yourself, you remember that. Thanks, Miss Green. I'll never forget this. 
Oh, and do me one favor. Don't forget to bring me a signed copy of your book when you become best-selling author, okay? I will. So I had a teacher that helped me read and write all through high school until I graduated, until I was 18. And she would keep me after class and help me with vocab and simple basic words and understanding the English language. So there's a teacher similar to this that would always try to help me because I was failing high school English and she wouldn't let me fail so that I could get into college. And big shout out to all the teachers out there that help all kids who are going through any types of challenges. So if you have a, a teacher in mind that really supported you back in your life when you were in school, then you know what this is all about. With the help of Miss Green, Lewis finally starts believing in himself for the first time in his life. Over time, Lewis learns how to read and starts doing much better in school. With Mrs. Green's help, he eventually graduates on time and becomes one of the top ranking students in his school. Several years pass, and Lewis decides to start writing his very first book. He goes around trying to sell his book to strangers. He does this day after day, so excited to get his book out there. That is, until he realizes no one wants to buy it. The book was a total failure. After months of trying and failing, he starts losing belief in himself and decides to give up on his dreams. But then one day, he happens to run into someone that he used to know that would change his life forever. I don't know what I was thinking. I can't be an author, I'm too dumb. Whatever, Sean was right, I should just go be a janitor. Watch Sorry. where you're going. Sorry, it's my fault. Wait, Lewis? It's Miss Wilson from middle school. Oh. Uh. How have you been? <laughs> I've had better days. What's wrong? Well, I tried to come out with a book, but um, it was a total flop, nobody read it. Oh well, I wouldn't beat yourself up too much. I mean, after all, you were in special ed, right? It was good seeing you. What am I doing? Like I could be a writer, like I could be anything, like Tony Robbins. I wish I'd never read this stupid book. Whatever you believe, you can achieve. And if you ever lose belief in yourself, you remember that. That's it. I have to keep believing in myself. I'm not gonna give up. Now, I didn't have a mean teacher that I ran into, but I love this part of the story here, this Fumi, because it really reminds you that there are gonna be people who doubt you at different stages of your life, whether when you graduate college and a friend of yours a few years later says you can't do something or your parents tell you to go in a different direction than you want to, there's always gonna be someone that says you're not good enough, you're not smart enough, or that you shouldn't try this thing that's a dream of yours. And so this was a great reminder for me at different stages of my life, friends, peers, people in my industry didn't believe in me. And what I had to learn is I had to learn how to believe in myself throughout my entire journey. And that's what this was about. With newfound motivation and belief, Lewis gets to work on writing a new book. And also when one thing doesn't work out the way you want it to, my first book, it wasn't a total failure. I think we sold like 10,000 copies, but it wasn't this massive success. It wasn't a big hit. It wasn't what I wanted it to be. But every failure I've learned is just feedback. It's information on what's working and what's not working. And it's your job to take that feedback, to take that information, and then go apply it to master a new skill, to do something different towards that thing you're looking to accomplish and achieve. So that's when I went back and I regained new skills. I developed new skills. I overcame different fears that I had. And I started writing the next book a few years later. A few years go by. And this time, his second book is a huge success. Lewis becomes one of the best-selling authors in the world. He develops a huge following, creates a top-ranking podcast, 
and even meets his idol, Tony Robbins. Lewis's work inspires millions of people around the world. And then one day, he decides to go pay a visit to an old friend. Hey, Miss Green. Lewis. Oh my goodness. Look at you. It's so good to see you. What are you doing here? Well, I wanted to bring you something. It's my new book. I signed it for you. Lois, you remembered. I am so proud of you. Ms. Green, I'm starting to sweep the floors. Sean, perfect timing. You remember Lewis Howes uh, from school. He's a best-selling author now. Lewis. Wow, I, I can't believe it's you. Of course, I know who you are. I, the last time I saw you was... When you told me all it ever amounted to was being a janitor. Look, I'm sorry about the way that I treated you when we were kids. I was wrong about you. And actually, I, I listen to your podcast all the time. Oh, really? I'm a huge fan. Oh, thank you. Can I get one of those? You want me to sign it too? Yeah. Can you give me some advice? Sure. My dream has always been to have my own business one day, but I'm just a janitor, so probably won't happen. Well, a wise person once told me, whatever you believe, you can achieve. So always remember that. This was actually a true part of my story where after I wrote my book, became a New York Times bestseller, I went back to my high school and thanked the teacher that supported me, that helped me overcome the challenges that I had in English, reading and writing, and it was just a powerful moment for me during that time. Now, there wasn't a kid there who told me that I'd only amount to be a janitor, but it was a powerful part of this story. I think it's interesting that there, again, there are people that will tell you that you won't amount to something, that you'll only be able to do this, or you can only do that, or you can't accomplish your goals and your dreams. And I think that's a, a powerful theme that a lot of us experience throughout our life. So for me, it was a full circle moment to have different failures that were really feedback learning moments that turned into finally a book that I wrote that hit the New York Times bestseller list, went back to the school where this happened and really reconnected with my teacher and thanked a lot of people that supported me along the way. That was powerful. Hey, Darman fam. I hope you loved that video featuring one of my good friends, Mr. Lewis Howes. Good to have you here, man. So Thank what you. was this video about? This video is all about believing in yourself because the world or people may discount you or discount your dreams, but you can never stop believing in yourself and believing in your dreams. And it doesn't matter how many people bully you or say that you can't do something. It only takes one to make sure that you can. Wow, I really love that. Thanks for sharing that message. And thank you guys for watching. Please remember that we're not just telling stories. We're changing <laughs> lives. And when you share my videos, you're helping to change lives too. So there you have it. It was a part of my story. They did an amazing job. Really cool to see what Darman and his entire team has created. And again, if you haven't, checked out his other videos, make sure to go to his channel right now. We'll link it up in the description in the comments below. We're doing a contest and a giveaway as well, so make sure to go there and be a part of the giveaway. So it's fun for me to watch this. This is my first time ever doing like an acting part and having a little role in a, in a little short film. So it was, it was definitely interesting being behind the scenes and experiencing that process. You'll have to give me feedback below on how I did as of my first time acting, but it was a cool experience. Glad I did it. Hopefully I can do more with Dar and the entire team over there because they do an amazing job at everything they do. And just to recap this, for me, I wanted to share this story because a lot of people hear about my story from playing football and getting injured playing football and what I've created since then. But I usually don't talk about parts of my story before I was 22. So I wanted to share a little bit behind the scenes, things I struggled with. I was literally in special needs classes for many, many years, almost got held back, but had lots of great tutors, lots of great mentors who didn't give up on me. And I think it's important for us to always remember the people that don't give up on us and to make sure that we are a stand for the people in our lives that maybe are struggling, that need some support, that need someone to, to lift them up and not to give up on the people around you. No matter how long it takes, it took me many, many years 
And even today, I still struggle with reading and writing, but it doesn't hold me back from going after what I want. So always believe in yourself because a lot of people will doubt you, but you can't doubt yourself. Otherwise, it's gonna be extremely challenging to accomplish what you want. So find ways to overcome those challenges. Everyone's gonna have them. Find ways to overcome them, be consistent, and keep smiling along the way. I hope you enjoyed this video. Make sure to subscribe here as well as over on Darman's videos in his channel, and I'll see you guys next time. If you're looking for more greatness in your life, make sure to check out this video right here. And also check out our free PDF, The Three Secrets to Unlock the Power of Your Mind to Help You Change Your Life. Download it right here. Skip a meal, but don't skip reading. Read something, a biography. Read something mm. that's a strategy. Read something that's gonna change your life.